this is going to be the final example we look at and it is just on buckling. So this is our buckling example. We want to find what the maximum load that can be applied to a round section that is of diameter 18 millimeters and is 2 meters long. Uh, the section is going to be made from brass and we want to check for two different uh, failure modes, so compression and buckling. So we need to determine which one of those modes is going to be the critical failure. So uh, to start with this, just got to get some material data. So for brass we come across here, we've got Young's modulus of 103 gigapascals and tensile yield stress of 170 um, megapascals. So just list those down. Okay, so we need to first determine whether failure is due to compression or buckling. So first going to look at buckling. So um, if this is how our column is having the load applied, so we've got fixed at uh, both ends and the force being applied. If we go up to this table here, and let's just make that a little bigger. Uh, you can see we have this case here and our effective length is half of the actual length of our column. So that means for a 2 meter long column we get LE equal to 0 0.5 times L so that's just equal to one meter. Uh, also important since we need to work out a slenderness ratio which is LE on radius of gyration we need to determine that radius so uh, just uh, from looking up for a solid uh, round section we get that it is equal to the diameter divided by four so for this section that's 4.5 millimeters or 0 0.0045 meters. Uh, that means we can now determine our slenderness ratio. So that will be equal to our effective length, which is 1, divided by 0 0.0045, which gives 222. We now need to determine the Euler Johnson tangent point. So we know which uh, buckling equation to use. So the slenderness ratio of that point, which is what we need to know, is given by the following, which is just from uh, the first video. The half, which is equal to Two pi squared times hundred and three times ten to the nine divided by hundred and seventy times ten to the six all to the power of a half, which equals hundred and nine point three six. So our slenderness ratio of two hundred and twenty two point two is significantly greater than the critical point so if it's greater than that value then we use the Euler buckling equa equation. So using Euler equation you get critical load is pi squared times E so Young's modulus times moment of inertia divided by LE squared, which in this case just goes to 1, 
So we get pi squared times 103 times 10 to the 9 times pi on 64 times 0 0.018 to the 4th since our i equals pi d4 on 64 and this gives us a critical load of 5238.4 newtons. So now just need to take a quick look at compression to see uh, which loads greater. So compression so we get stress equals F on A and our load is F equals the yield, so stress yield times A, which is equal to 170 times pi times 18 squared on 4, and that equals 43,200 and 59.7 newtons. So clearly that's a lot greater than this 5238 term here. So therefore we know that this column is going to fail due to buckling before it does compression. And that concludes our examples for this video set and therefore concludes this video set. So thanks for watching.